Hello everybody, my name is Julio Nibi and today I want to show how to install OpenFOR package files the .oiv files which is kind of file here that sometimes you will see mods like the hook for example which goes with a um, .oiv file we need the open for installed and configured to to be able to open this package and install it. It's very easy. It's one of the most easier ways to install mods on GTA. First we need open for here in the official site. Let's download and install the open for. Okay, here's the file. Let's run. Always run the file as administrator if your account is not administrator. Okay, so this is the installation. Let's proceed. Okay, which will download some kind of or something like that now it's installing and done after installing we need to set the path of the, the game where the game is installed so before you use the package installer we need to set this path ok so into we click in the name of the game you have the EFLC results from Liberty City option Grand Theft Auto option and Max Payne 3 option I will show the Grand Theft Auto option ok so here in the open for I will choose Grand Theft Auto 4 now I click in browse, browse and choose where my GTA J is installed. Commonly it's at program files, Rockstar games and the path of the game. In this case I have some copies of the game here so I will choose my patch.7. Here he finds the GTA 4.x exe file and we can click in continue now he will proceed with the last steps of the initial configuration and here we have the open for installed and ready to mod GTA 4 version ok if we need to mod EFLC version we need to do the same here choose the path of the game EFLC ok we find the the dodge exe file continue we will finish and now we are able to merge EFLC 2 ok so now when you download and merge like for example my <coughs> my Iron Man 4 update which is one here it will come with <coughs> the um, Dodge OIV file the open for package file so we need to use open for package installer to install this file 
to download the mod again. Let me save here in my desktop. Okay, now this is the zip. Let me extract the files to a folder. And here we have the dodge oiv file. You need to open this file with the open for package installer. How we do this we open the open for and here we have this option package installer. We click here. We choose the file that we downloaded the dodge oiv file and clicking open. It will show the setup screen. We will have to choose in what game version we will install DJ4 or EFLC. Let's install in EFLC this time. Now we have the option to install, for example, here in this in this in this module we have the scripting. Is basically is the main main files and the script hook and AC loader that we, you will need to run the script so if you already have the script hook you don't need to install this, this option here just the script after clicking the option it will install, try to install the, the files the game must be closed or it probably will fail. After installation, he will show a button to run the game. We can close because it's done. See, it's very simple. We already installed the mod. Uh, now, if you download other mod, like for example, Hook, Hook goes with .oav file too. Here, let's open this file with open for package installer. Same thing, select the game version. Let me show in the GTA version. One different step. Here in GTA 4 version, we have these two options for the script hook. One is to use with path 1.0.4.0 or lower. And the other other option is with newer patches. Okay, so this is basically the difference that we have in GTA 4 option. So it's not a big deal. Here, install hook script. You start to copy. Start to copy the files. And done. See, very easy to install. And if you want install without opening for the Dodge OIV file, we can proceed this way. We right click the Dodge OIV file and clicking open with WinHar, activate uh, WinHar or WinZip. You can open with one of those kind of zip compressors. Let's use WinHar. You will see a folder on like that. Inside the folder content, you will have the files used. It is in the new versions of my mods that will put the structure to be more easy to understand the files. For example, here in the dual wielding mod. If you open with Minhar, you will see that we have a um, common game mod structure with the scripts folder, the ASC loader, the script hook. Okay, so it's very easy to install without open for tools, just need to select and extract to your 
GTA folder. And just make sure that if you are using path under or equal to 1.0.4.0, you need to use this DLL here instead of the script hook DLL here. You need to use the .4 version. This is the basic change that you need to do in the 1.0.4 patch version, ok? So this is the way to install open for package files. It's very easy. It's basically open with open for select the game and select the options to install the mod commonly you will have only one option or two in the case of the scripts see everything installed let me install only the SMG versions of the dual wielding it's a great tool this package installer and you use always this it's the be be best way always run the game and the open for as administrator it's better sometimes people get stuck because they can't copy the files or get errors this is mainly because they don't have the administrator rights to write the files so basically this is what I, I wanted to show how to install the open for package files